Hello and good day. Welcome back to our class. This is Teacher on Indigus One, and our topic for today is proving statements on triangle congruence for Grade 8, Quarter 3, Module 4. In creating a proof, you need to list down the information that are given, list down other information you can deduce, and then determine what you're trying to prove. So though congruent triangle proofs can be a little bit challenging, here are the basic steps in creating a proof. So number one, mark the given information for the diagram. Number two is identify the congruent postures or appearance to be used and the additional information needed and why. And finally, write down the statements and reasons. Make sure your last statement is what you are supposed to be proved. For our example number one, we will use the illustration on the right side. So O is the midpoint of AC and BD. So this is the midpoint. AB is congruent to DC. And we would like to prove that triangle AOB is congruent to triangle COD. For our step number one is mark the congruent sides. From the given, we can say that Okay, uh, AO is congruent to OC because uh, O is the midpoint of line segment AC. Also, we can say that DB and the midpoint is O, so DO is congruent to BO also because O is the midpoint of the line segment DB. So number two, we have two sides congruence, so we can use now the SSS or side 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 congruence postulate. For step number three, we will write our proof such that we have the statements and reason. For our first statement, so O is the midpoint of AC and BD, and the reason is it is given. For number two, AO is congruent to CO, as well as BO is congruent to DO because we use the definition of midpoint. Number three, AB is congruent to DC because that is given. And finally, triangle AOB is congruent to triangle COD because of side-side-side congruent postulates. Let's move on to the second example. Again, we will use the illustration on the right side. So, given AD is congruent to BC, so we have AD is congruent to BC, E is the midpoint of AC and BD. So, we would like to prove that triangle DAE is congruent to triangle BCE. So, again, for our proof, we will write the two column forms such that we have statements and reasons. For first statement, we have AD is congruent to BC because that is given. Number two, E is the midpoint of AC and BD because again, it is given. Number three, we can say that AE is congruent to CE. So let's mark that. So AE is congruent to CE because the definition of midpoint. Number four, DE is congruent to BE. So let's mark. Again, so we will use the definition of midpoint for our reason. And finally, triangle DAE is congruent to triangle BCE because of side-side-side posturing. Let's move on to example number three. So we have AC is parallel to BD, AB is parallel to CD. So proof, AC is congruent to BD. For our proof, we have our statement and reason. Again, for our statement number one, AC is parallel to BD. So let's mark that one. So this is the symbol. 
and our reason is even. Number two, we have angle ACB. So we have angle ACB is congruent to angle DBC. So let's mark that one here. And the reason is if two parallel lines are cut by transversal, then alternate interior angles are congruent. For number three, AB is parallel to CD. So let's mark that one also. The reason is even. Number four, angle ABC. So angle ABC is congruent to angle B, C, D. So let's mark also. And the reason is if two parallel lines are caught by transversal, then alternate interior angles are congruent. So let's continue our proof. For number 5, C, B is congruent to C, B. So we can say this is a reflexive property as our reason. For number 6, we have triangle ACB is congruent to triangle BDC because of ASA congruence postulate. And finally, we have AC is congruent to BD because corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. Let's move on to our example number four. Given that CH is congruent to EH and FH is congruent to GH. So, prove that angle C is congruent to angle E. For our proof, we will have, again, our two-column form. So, we have for statements and reason. For our statement number one, so we have CH is congruent to EH as well as FH is congruent to GH. So, let's mark that one first. So, we have CH, okay, this line segment, okay is congruent to EH. Okay. So we have also FH is congruent to GH. The reason is given. For number two angle, we have here angle FHC is congruent to angle GHE. And the reason is the vertical angle theorem. So let's mark that one. Number three, so we have triangle FHC is congruent to triangle GHE. And the reason is the side angle side congruent posture. And number four, angle C is congruent to angle E. And the reason is corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. So that ends our topic on proving statements on triangle congruence. Again, this is Teacher Onid de Guzman. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel so that you will be notified about my new videos. Thank you.